Today we're going to talk about maintaining your fitness through the eating season. We all know what the eating season is, right? It's upon us. It's the time between Thanksgiving and New Year's where all we want to do is kind of hang out, recover from our uh, fall marathon, half marathon, or whatever we've been doing. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say, hey, congratulations to uh, completing whatever run you did, the Thanksgiving Day 10K, uh, you know, uh, your, your fall marathon, half marathon, whatever. The biggest thing is, though, you can lose your fitness. It only takes two to three weeks to lose fitness so that's if you just go straight to couch potatoes so the big thing you want to do is keep something up so in other words um, reduce your volume of training and what that means is pretty much cut back the number of days you run and cut back on the amount of time you run so what they say or the the distance you run so pretty much they say is take your longest week cut that by 40 percent and that's about where you want to go same thing kind of with your long runs but uh, what i usually do is i'll look at uh Am I going to do a fall, all right, spring marathon, half marathon? What am I planning on doing? And then see what happens. Uh, here at Tri State with our training groups, the uh, training groups are going to start the first weekend in January. So um, the half marathon will be running, their long run will be four miles. The full marathon will be running eight miles. So I want to at least have that fitness going into the beginning of that training program. I don't want to take completely off that. So just pretty much like I was saying, cut back on your. Uh, the frequency of or volume of your uh, workout training. The other thing you can do is uh, cross train. So you can do uh, some core work because that's great to strengthen uh, your back. It helps with your glutes, your hammies, the whole nine yards. So work out on some uh, core exercises, um, squats, body weight stuff like uh, body weight squats, single leg squats. Uh, single leg deadlifts. What's nice about doing single leg uh, movements is usually when you run, you're landing on one leg. You always have one leg on the ground, one leg off the ground. So it's nice to do some kind of stuff. And you can Google a bunch of different exercises uh, to do that body weight exercises. It works out well. You don't need weights. You can do that and uh, keep you all toned up. So just remember, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. Take some time off. You definitely want to recover, especially if you have an injury. You know, uh, take care of that injury. But don't uh, take so much time where once that training season starts, you're not prepared. So remember, running is easy. Right, left, repeat. Just don't forget to smile.